and it's just got that new age feel with a vintage twist. My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional bike and kit tester for nearly 25 years. And tonight I'm out for my local social single track exercise on on one's big dog 29er affordable steel all-rounder. So if you're wondering where big dog sits in the on one range, it's right slap bang center of their steel mountain bike range. You got the budget boots are perfectly rigid, bike packing. Then I do it all pub bike that I've reviewed already, and then you've got the crazy radical downhill angle. Hello, Dave. <coughs> and this takes a bit from both, really. The back end's very similar to the boot zipper. Uh, slim steel tubes, nice bit of a kerb. Quite intricate dropouts on them for such an affordable bike, to be honest. And then the front. All right. Hello. Has a really good quality triple butted DN6 tube set. So not exactly the same as Hello Dave, but very similar. And straight away, you can feel that real ride quality of the steel frame kind of flowing through. I've actually dipped into some of the optional extra packages uh, that come through the buyer's options. So I changed the tyres slightly. If you saw the unboxing video, I, uh, it came with big super sticky V rubber tyres, which did it in no favours to be honest. So at the time I put the bike together, on what had an offer on uh, Continental uh, Mountain King 2.4s. Folding bead, ridiculous. It's about like a quarter of the price they should be. So, as you can change things like tyres and saddle and bar spec, when you're already in the bike, I have some to send a set of them up. And yeah, I mean, that's the kind of classic on one Planet X trick, really find out who's selling his kit off cheap, snap it up and sell it on cheap as well. So, although they're actually the older tread van of Mountain King, still getting black chili rubber compound and a really nice, pliable, top quality premium carcass, but for super basic cheap tyre money and that really does make a difference to the overall ride feel of this bike it normally comes with steel pan racers which are okay but there are places you do want steel on a bike and the BG tyres in one of them just makes them really heavy and also it doesn't come with the dropper as standard it comes on with an on one rigid post so that's another thing you're going to look to upgrade. But otherwise, spec is absolutely bob on. It's a mix of SRAM SX and GX, so slightly heavier cassette than full GX, but GX shifters, chain set, and a proper quality kit. And you get a RockShox 35 fork, so full size fork legs for proper ride stiffness and accuracy. And you can really see that. I mean, you don't see having a nice, quite tight quality steel frame set helps keep it accurate. But having three, you know, it's the same size leg as Pike, Lyric. Even Boxer and 130 mil travel again is just a really good all round length for you know, all round hardtail duties. You know, you can plough into 
fairly big stuff without getting smashed around but it's not going to go through to the back wheel unannounced and kick you up the arse either plus it means you can you know use all that motion control damped debonair sprung travel without jacking up the geometry too much but it's good geometry again I mean nothing crazy extreme medium yeah, it's a 446 mil reach so I'll probably go for a large given the choice this is what they have in stock but 65 degree ad angle so nice and confident for faster looser rowdier sections and then 444 mil chainstay with the uh, classic on one chainstay plate on the drive side to give plenty of clearance even with 2.5 tyre so you know could be slightly longer lower to be totally contemporary in trail terms but it's a really nice lively balanced ride it's fully equipped to be really versatile as well so you've got rack mounts you know it is ported ready for a dropper so it's as happy playing in your local woods like tonight as it is doing you know ride to work or touring duties if you want that little bit of extra compliance translates into better tyre grip and then 65 degree seat angle puts you in a nice forward position have upgraded to this black chilli rubber and you've got full eagle gearing if you need it so even steeper stuff up she comes surprisingly easy and it'll do that all day long because that bit of forgiveness means it's not going to beat your legs to a pulp either and riding lighter than it weighs is an absolute cliche of bike testing but you know and you could go lighter with the scandal the alloy frame which basically has the same geometry but in a butted aluminium frame but this light and springy flowy ride absolutely loving this snake in single track really is gorgeous just kind of ebb and flow into turns and dips really kind of work with the trail carve it round use the edge grip on those country tires and then power it out with those long power smoothing chain stays and the frame's got some really nice <laughs> getting loose in here build features as well triple bunted, butted front end neat boost dropouts little cowl sections it's got that chainstay plate for space for 29 by 2.5 inch tyres and plenty of mud that front end is gusset reinforced top and bottom behind the head tube so you know it can take a fair amount of a beat in but that doesn't kill the ride feel because you know on one have been tweaking steel tube sets for decades now you know they more than know what they're doing with a ferris frame and surprisingly swift ride i mean i've done most of this review while i've been pedaling on the flat not been out of breath and that's a cracking indication that this bike just carries speed really well and i've ridden this bike you know, several times now just to get it dialed in but even so this is a pretty short review because right from the start it was obvious this kind of just did everything you'd hope from a steel art tail really really well is it springy yes is it characterful and charismatic like you know the steel myth says yes definitely has it got decent spec yeah gx and a 35 for this money absolutely is the geometry good yeah really good nice stable front end steepish seat angle 
plenty of uh, tyre clearance and if you want longer or crazier get yourself a Hello Dave and it comes in two paint options this super neon orange and then kind of a galvanised raw steel with lacquer over the top and one thing I would say the paint does chip on them pretty easily so I take the chainstay straight away uh, just to stop the chain chewing chunks off it but apart from that feels like a really nice quality bike to ride <laughs> to coin a phrase oh I even did a skid <laughs> how old school is that so yeah I mean here we are again where we started and yeah in a way this is kind of back to classic on one you know the original inbred the steel bike that they made their name with it's just a really really good fun bike designed in Yorkshire put together when you order it in Yorkshire which is how they make the pricing so cheap so happy days all round really so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this little local late night you know solo edit Obviously, I'm not razzing it at the moment. I don't want to put myself at risk or anyone else at risk. You has to come and peel me up. That would just be dumb. Uh, but, you know, it's enough to get a good idea of how this bike really rides. So, uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Click for notifications if you want to hear about more of my videos. If you really want to support the channel, consider joining these fine folks who uh, sponsor me on Patreon and get early, extended and behind-the-scenes edit as a bonus. Uh, thanks to On One for supporting this video. Uh, thanks to uh, Seven Mesh, Camelback, Gore, and O'Neill and Jiro for kit. Thanks to Crank Brothers for the pedals. And most of all, uh, thanks to the On One Big Dog for proving that steel is very definitely still a great fun all rounder material to make a bike out of. If you do it right, top job. <laughs>